Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name is Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. Before we get into today's reading, I want to take a moment to address yesterday's reading, those of you who view the reading regarding the sudden loss of a loved one. It came to my attention that there were a few people who were concerned that it may be predicting the death of a loved one. And I want to make absolutely clear that that message was only intended for those of you who have already experienced the loss of a loved one and are in the grieving process now. Um, not every message is meant for every viewer, so I do greatly apologize to those of you who may have experienced fear because of that reading. Um, that was definitely not my intent. So let's get into today's reading. Spirit, what's going on with Sagittarius today? At the heart of your reading, we have the Four of Wands reversed. We might be talking about a breakup, a divorce, um, for some of you, a retirement. It's like, um, it feels like an ending. Some sort of event, like, like a going away party or a retirement party is kind of what I'm getting here. I suppose if this is a continuation of yesterday's message, we might be talking about a funeral. It might be an event about that sort of an ending. Um, again, that's for only those of you who have already experienced the loss of a loved one. For your challenge, we have the Six of Cups in reverse. This is nostalgia. Remembering the happy times. The challenge being um, becoming able to view things more objectively, that there was positive and there was negative. Now, for some of you, we are talking about a breakup or a divorce here because we have the lovers at the bottom of the deck and cups tend to deal with emotion, most times love. Your focus is on the page of cups. If this is your energy, you You've been humbled by this experience and you're eager for a fresh new start. For some of you, there's a child that's been impacted by this ending and your attention is squarely focused on them, their emotional well being. You want to be a support to them. Some of you have broken up with a Pisces and you're remembering them. Your, <clears throat> your thoughts are on memories of them. Show me the recent past for Sagittarius. What led up to this? Four of Swords. In context of a breakup, this would be like taking some time apart before you decide to break up. To, to rest and reflect, be alone with your thoughts. Make sure that you're absolutely certain and clear about what you want. Show me the energy of the environment. Ten of Wands reversed, releasing a burden, getting closure. Accepting the ending of something.
Show me the near future. How does a story unfold for Sagittarius? More page energy, more newness. Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is curious, is motivated, is inspired. They want to take that curiosity and figure out what to do with it. How can I take action? How can I act on this inspiration? Tell me more about the Page of Wands. Another page. Page of Swords reversed. If you felt like this might be about a child in your situation, I feel like this is really emphasizing a child's energy. Now, I want to make it clear that I don't read for children. I would read for the, the parents or the, the guardians of children. So like this would be about your perspective on their situation. I feel like the Page of Swords reversed here, clarifying the Page of Wands is telling us that you won't be ready in the near future to talk about your new interest. It's gonna be something that you keep private to yourself. Yeah, more confirmation of that here at the bottom of the deck with the Hermit. You may wanna practice this new activity in private. Page of Swords reversed could mean that it's um, this activity has something to do with an unusual means of communication. You might be meeting up with new friends in a virtual reality environment. Um, you might be exploring psychic gifts. You might just be exploring a new method of communication that you personally haven't used before. Show me surprise energy for Sagittarius. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So this is more um, emphasis on like a, a mother-child relationship. We've, we've had the children come in. Now I feel like we're talking about mother energy. Um, you may be the child in this situation and your mother is going to bring some resources to you. I'm getting the sense of like, um, I was cleaning out the attic or I was cleaning out the garage and I came across these things. Do you want them? These three pages, we might be talking about siblings. If the Queen of Pentacles is your energy, you're going to be accumulating resources or lining up new streams of revenue. You might have a flash of inspiration about uh, a new way to receive money. And I say receive money, not earn money purposefully. I don't feel like this is about doing work to earn money. It's like, um, learning about a new way to receive money. We, we might be talking about like setting up a cryptocurrency wallet or how a cash app works, 
how Venmo works, how PayPal works. Um, I'm just getting that so sort of like just a method of receiving funds. Oh, it could be that you haven't checked something like that recently. Maybe you have like a PayPal or a Venmo account that you haven't checked recently. There may be some, some funds there waiting for you that you aren't aware of. Show me Oh, any of you who received cryptocurrencies years ago and didn't really take it seriously, you might want to try and check on that now. The value has gone up considerably. Let's see. Um, surprise as, no, <laughs> hopes and fears. Okay, queen of swords. You want to be able to look at the situation without um, a predisposed opinion. You want to be objective. You feel like you're looking at a certain situation and your own experience, your own um, ideas may be clouding your judgment. It's, I feel like it's very connected to this Six of Cups reversed energy that the challenge that you're trying to overcome here, looking at the situation objectively. You want to see it for what it was and not what you hoped it could be. Show me the end result. Tower in reverse. What is sudden and unexpected? Seven of Wands reversed. Lowering of your defenses. Knight of Wands reversed. You may have been very resistant to someone who um, you thought had ulterior motives or problematic motives. What I'm getting off of the Seven of Wands, Knight of Wands situation is that you had been kind of feeling attacked or feeling cautious, like you needed to guard yourself against this person's energy. They're just giving me like the walls are going to come crumbling down. There's going to be some realization that you reach having to do with this person's intentions or motivation that either cause you to see them as less of a threat or to understand their motivation. It's possible that they had very good intentions and just went about it in a confusing or unclear way. Show me advice for Sagittarius. For some of you, you're remembering a past person's activity and it wasn't even directed at you. I'm just getting the sense of like someone who stories were told about a, a family member like gallivanting, consorting with uh, unscrupulous people and you may have been like resistant to that side of the family or resistant to getting to know that person better because of the stories that were told. You may have some sudden shocking realization or um, new information presented like, oh yeah, that was not really true. That's not what happened. 
whatever it is, it's something that causes you to be less resistant to that person's energy, more open. What advice do we have for Sagittarius? How can they work with these energies for their highest and best good? Okay, now we have all four pages out. Your advice is the Page of Pentacles. Um, get hands on. There's something that you're meant to do. Maybe something you're meant to make. Definitely something you're meant to learn. Excuse me. <clears throat> Page of Pentacles for me is the student of the deck, but they learn through hands-on activity. I think if you're trying to learn something in your life, if you're trying to um, experience something new, the advice is to get out there and start doing it. If you're afraid to get started because you don't know enough, you need to learn more. The advice is consider how you might learn through um, experience, learn through doing hands-on experience. Sagittarius, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.